As act two of The Crucible begins, John Proctor returns home from work. Elizabeth lays out some stew for him and they sit and talk about safe topics. John thinks Elizabeth is depressed again and tries to put her concerns about the affair with Abigail to rest. Elizabeth avoids this discussion and starts talking about the witch trials. She mentions that 14 people have been arrested and charged with practicing witchcraft. All those found guilty or who do not confess will hang. She adds that Abigail is the star of the proceedings. All it takes to convict someone is for Abigail to scream in fear while the other girls imitate her. The judges will deem the teenagers bewitched and sentence the accused to death. She begs John to tell Ezekiel Cheever, the clerk of the court, that Abigail admitted the girls dancing had nothing to do with witchcraft. Mary Warren comes in from attending the trials, saying that 39 women have now been arrested for practicing witchcraft. She hands Mrs. Proctor a poppet, or a rag doll she made, while enduring hours in court. Mary explains that Goody Osborne tried to choke her during the trial, and the old homeless woman could not recite the Ten Commandments on command, so has been sentenced to hang. Mary also announces that Elizabeth Proctor was accused of being a witch. Elizabeth pleads again with John to tell Cheever what Abigail admitted to him. Two issues dominate this segment of Act Two, John's affair with Abigail and the town's witch trials. John has been trying to earn forgiveness and rebuild trust, but Elizabeth still nurtures some seeds of doubt and this causes tension between them. Mary Warren returns from court and tells them Elizabeth was accused of practicing witchcraft. They fight again, causing more strain on their marriage. Their arguments parallel the witch trial by accepting baseless assumptions as truth. In both situations, the defendant is considered guilty until proven innocent. The witch trials create a vicious cycle by fueling people's fears of witchcraft with suggestions and interpretations of actions based on preconceived judgments. The authorities combine their understanding of biblical texts regarding witchcraft with subjective accounts of troublesome behavior they either can't explain or don't want to because it differs from their preconceived notions. In one week, 39 citizens previously considered law-abiding and moral have been accused of practicing witchcraft. No one questions this because they have been brainwashed to assume any person who disagrees is a devil worshiper. The complainants' names are kept anonymous, but those accused are challenged publicly and without restraint. <laughs>